Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm going to be doing a short little tutorial on the new auction system called the Bazaar. It's basically the stock market in Hypixel Skyblock. It's going to be an alternative for the auction house and the NPCs, and to enforce using the Bazaar over the NPCs, they actually, you know, limited how many stacks of stuff you can buy from NPCs. It's literally only 10 stacks at a time. So yeah, this is the new way to buy bulk items. So I bet you guys already knew that. So let's get straight into the tutorial. It's actually not as complicated as people think. Well, first of all, these are all the items that you can buy and sell in Bazaar. There's farming, mining, combat, wooden fish, oddities. So you click on whichever item you want to buy or sell, right? So let's go to pumpkin. Two different versions of pumpkin, this regular and enchanted. So let's hop over to Enchanted. Of all the buttons here, let's actually start with the ones that seem more complicated. So there's the Create Buy Order and Create Sell Offer. So basically, what these do, so if I were to, for example, do a Buy Offer, right? If we look here, the top orders, and by top, they basically sort by the highest uh, price offer first and then make their way down to the lower options. So, as you can see, some guy is willing to buy 4,384 pumpkins, enchanted pumpkins, for 615 coins each. If you go one down, somebody is offering to buy 32 enchanted pumpkins for 613 coins. And as you can see, the numbers keep going down, right? So, it sorts them by whichever person is willing to pay the most for pumpkins if i create a buy order of let's say 700 coins for enchanted pumpkin mine will go on top so just keep that in mind it sorts with buy offers with the highest price that someone's willing to pay first and then makes its way down so then if we go to sell offer it's actually the opposite so now people are offering to sell enchanted pumpkins and as you can see the price goes up instead of down so the person that's willing to sell pumpkins for the cheapest price gets bumped to the top so if i wanted to sell enchanted pumpkins uh i would have to beat this guy at the top which is offering 866 coins per enchanted pumpkin if i wanted to show up on top of this guy i would have to sell my pumpkins for less so let's say i mean this is what people have been doing right let's say that i sold my enchanted pumpkins for 866.3 coins each, <laughs> 0.1 coin less per pumpkin than I would show up first. So why does this matter, showing up first on this list for buy or sell? Well, that matters when you go here to the buy instantly and sell instantly buttons. So if I wanted to buy pumpkins instantly, it gives me a price. Now, how does it calculate that price? Well, if I buy instantly, it's going to automatically check all the sell offers. So if I buy, for example, 10 stacks of enchanted pumpkins, it's going to first take 367 of them from the first offer, and then it's going to move on to the next offer, which is 0.1 coins each more. So it will go through all the offers and buy everything in order to fulfill the amount that I just requested, if that makes sense. And it, it starts with the ones that are cheapest from the uh, offers and then keeps getting more expensive as I buy more. And again, same thing works for selling pumpkins. If I sell instantly, then it's going to go through all of the buy offers and it's going to sell my pumpkins at the price that these people are requesting. This person's offering to buy, again, 4,389 pumpkins at 615 each. Let's demonstrate it, right? So let's say, I, let's go to regular pumpkins so that my bank doesn't cry. <laughs> so I'm going to go here, regular pumpkins. Now these prices are way lower, as you can see. The top orders for buying pumpkins right now is three coins each, and someone wants to get 50,000 pumpkins. That's a lot of freaking pumpkins. Um, and then the sell offers, the cheapest sell offer is 17.8 coins each. So if I were to buy instantly then of course it's going to go to the cheapest sell offer first which is 17.8 coins each as you can see there so i click on it let's buy one of them for 18.5 boom so 
So that just fulfilled this sell offer. So take a close look at the number. 1,411. Now if I buy another one, 1,410. So I just took one from this dude's sell offer, right? If I were to buy all 1,410, let's do that. Um, 1,410. And then we go back. That guy's offer is gone. That sell offer is now gone. So now the price just went up to 17. Wait, no, it's 17.8 still, it says. But then if I click out and I go back in, it should update. So I go here. 19.7 is now the cheapest price you can buy pumpkins at. Same works for selling. So if I were to go to sell offers here, I'm not going to sell 46,000 pumpkins because I don't have that much, but <laughs> I can sell all my pumpkins for the price that he wants, which is three coins each. So if I go in here, sell, then I just sold for 4,000 coins, which I lost a lot of money there. I lost about 28,000 coins ish because uh, people are offering way less money to, um, to buy pumpkins than they are offering pumpkins for you to purchase yourself so they're selling pumpkins for way higher than they're buying um so i lost money there which is why you got to be careful with this system but i hope that shed some light on this for example i mean something everybody knows the price of is a summoning eye which before the update was actually kind of close to this six hundred and thirty-five thousand coins so if we look at the um the buy offers here so many people are offering to buy summoning eyes right now so there's one guy that wants to buy 26 summoning eyes at 600,002 coins each, which is very interesting. As I said before, the people that put up the cheapest buy offer is going to get their summoning eyes first. This guy at the top who's willing to buy a summoning eye for 600,502 coins is obviously going to be the first one to get the summoning eye because they're offering the most for it. So if I'm selling a summoning eye, it's going to that guy. Oh, and one last thing, I'm actually going to have to turn my GUI scale down for this. One thing that's very interesting is that for every item, it actually shows a graph. Uh, so if I went like this, the bizarre only came out about like 15 hours ago as of recording this video. So as you can see, <laughs> the price went from nothing because no one was selling them instantly up to their market value of about 600k. I think summoning eyes are going to be the most stable market in the entire bizarre system. So the price is literally not changing right now because people already know the price for each. But if we go to something like pumpkin, it's going to be a lot crazier. So let's go to pumpkin because people don't really understand the value of a pumpkin. So if we go here. So this is different. This is very different. As you can see, the buy price is as high as it's ever been <laughs> so far at 623 coins per enchanted pumpkin. If you look at the sell price, the scaling is very hard to get out here, but it's under a thousand. Oh, okay. So when you left click, it toggles between 31 days, 7 days, 24 hours, as you can see on the top there. Left and right clicking. Right click literally just toggles between being zoomed out like this or zoomed in like this. That makes more sense. So, of course, we're going to want to look at 24 hours for all of this because the auction house or this, the bizarre system's only been out 24 hours. But uh, yeah, Enchanted Pumpkin Market, not as stable as Summoning Eyes. If we go to regular pumpkins, it's probably going to be even less stable. Oh, yeah look at these weird prices so for a very brief time the sell price of pumpkins was at 206 each which is insane because now it's at like that's at like 30. <laughs> oh my god okay yeah so this is interesting uh so if you want to game the system and like make massive money uh, you have to kind of know what the value of each item is supposed to be and you would see that with these graphs because you can go back a whole month uh, to see what something's worth in the past like 30 days if you notice that the price is dropping really quickly for an item you could take advantage of that and buy it while it's low and then while the value when the value goes back up again you can sell it when it's high just like freaking stocks so this is cool this is very cool but if you want to just use this casually as someone that just wants stuff um make sure you're not getting screwed i guess and make sure that the graphs are exactly where they were or at least close to where they were it's so annoying because i can't even see everything in the just make sure your gui scale is set to 
a bit lower when you're in there well anyway that's it for this quick tutorial guys i hope it makes sense of the whole thing because it does seem a little complicated at first glance i know it confused me at first but that's because when the update dropped i was going on uh 30 hours without sleep so yeah the main concept to understand here is that when you buy instantly you are taking from the cheapest that people are willing to sell first and making your way up and if you sell then you're getting the most money people are offering per pumpkin or per item and then it goes down so anyway i guess that's it if you like this tutorial make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more hypixel skyblock content and i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later